We're now elbow deep in the Lenten season. It seems that these next couple of weeks, a couple of passages from Lenten Psalms would be appropriate. The first one is today, Psalm 22, verse 1, and I quote, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah, that's right. When Jesus uttered those extraordinary words from the cross, he was actually quoting Psalm 22, verse 1. A thousand years earlier, David had predicted that on the cross, God would forsake God for you. It seems metaphysically impossible, doesn't it, that one could forsake himself, that one could abandon himself, but there on the cross, that's what happened. God, the Father, forsook, abandoned God, the Son. He withdrew from him all his love and all his help. And instead, on helpless Jesus, he exercised all his hatred for all the sin that you and I had ever committed. And what's the answer to that question that Jesus was asking? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The answer to that question is God's love. God saw that you and I were helpless, and so he planned for his own son, the treasure of his heart, to step in and accept the punishment for all our transgressions and take away all your guilt and all my guilt so that it would be gone enduringly and eternally. Isn't that just marvelous? And that's the story of Lent. In fact, not just the story of Lent, that's the story of our entire lives and the only lasting and enduring and eternal love story that there is. Come to church this weekend. Continue hearing that story. Nothing could be more winsome or more important. We'll see you in church.